Hello, family, and welcome. We're Bob and Penny Lord. The name of Maria Goretti has a very special place in our hearts. Her story conjures up overwhelming emotions, great desires to bring ourselves to Jesus and his mother Mary as pure buds, ready to flower into whatever vocation they choose for us. Maria Goretti was the little white and crimson rose of Jesus. She was definitely a contradiction in terms. She is a paradox. She could not possibly exist in this, the last decade of the 20th century, and yet she is a product of our century. Either she is completely out of sync or we are condemned for the apathy we portray to our children by our behavior. Either Maria Goretti was wrong or we're wrong. Is it possible that we could be wrong? But we're getting way ahead of ourselves. To begin at the beginning of this short but brilliant life in the Lord, we have to go to the far north and east of Italy, to the marches, the harsh area around Ancona and the Adriatic Sea, to Coronaldo. We know the story of Maria Goretti with surface knowledge, but there were two other virtues of St. Maria Goretti which are so subtle. They had lost in the shadow of giving her life. One of them was selflessness. She 